Hey everybody, it's Elena from Power for Parkinson's. I am here to bring you another fun, energizing, full body circuit for Parkinson's disease. So this is gonna be about a 45 minute workout. It's gonna be intense, moving up and down off the floor at a quick pace. So I wanna make sure this is the right workout for you to set yourself up for success. I have a water nearby, some medium to light dumbbells, and a chair for balance. So grab what you need, pause the video, come back and see us, and then let's get started. So we're gonna start with our feet hip width apart and taking two deep breaths just to arrive in this space. So inhale, reach your hands out and up, grow tall through the spine. Exhale, reach out and down. One more time, just like that. Inhale, reach out and up. And exhale, reach out and down. Beautiful, you made it. Thanks for being here. Starting to bring some movement into your feet as we bring the music into the workout. So getting, coming into a bit of a march. Being aware of how we're using opposite arms, opposite legs, and I want you to roll your shoulders forward, up, and back, just like that again. Forward, up, and back, one more time. Forward, up, and back, relax your shoulders away from your ear, left hand, cross, and pull. Cross, and pull, nice, y'all. Cross, pull, cross, pull. Keep going wide, step out to the side. Crossing the midline with your hands. Reach, pull last time. Reach up, lift and lower. Lift and lower using opposite sides of the body here. Right arm, left leg, you've got this. Reach up and down. Reach up, one more on each side. Up, down, last one. Squat down nice and slow, four, three, slow, two, one, now stand up, four, three, two, reach up at the top, slow squat, three, two, sit down into your heels, stand up, three, two, one, speed it up, down, for two, now lift and reach, down, for two, now lift and reach, two more, down, for two, lift and reach, down, for two, lift and reach. Nice job, step back and forward. Back and forward, this time same arm, same leg, working in unison, starting to fire up our balance, starting to connect with our core. Step back and, and keep it going here. Nice job, friends. When I tell you to connect with your core, what does that mean? I want you to engage your belly button in and up towards your spine. Hug your low ribs in. Imagine you're wearing a nice tight corset. Four, three, two, one. Let's take two more deep breaths. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, reach out and down. One more, inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, reach out and down. All right, my friends. Now might be a good time to grab a sip of water. All right. So we have a fun new circuit for you today. We're calling it Tabata 3015. What does that mean? I'm gonna show you two movements. We're gonna work for 30 seconds of activity, 15 seconds of rest, alternating between these two movements, doing each one twice. So it's gonna be fun and dynamic and fast paced and it'll be great. So I'll show you these first two moves. We're gonna start with that chair that I told you you would need. So we're gonna start by having this chair nice and sturdy. It might be helpful for you to have it up against a wall. And we'll start in a plank. So notice shoulders over wrists from the crown of my head to my heels is nice and long. So that looks different than this, right? This is my plank pose. I'm gonna jump up, stay in a low squat, punch right, punch left. So I'll show you what it looks like with the jump. Notice how I'm staying low in my hips and I'm really crossing my body with my arms. If you wanna keep it a little lower impact, step it back, step it forward, punch, punch, step back, step forward, punch, punch. The name of the game here is to find the pace where you can keep it controlled and of course stay safe, but where you're really um, hustling, getting out of breath. So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. And then for 15 seconds, we're gonna stand up. We will grab our dumbbells and we're doing um, what I'm calling a T raise. I don't know what it's actually called. So your palms face each other. We're gonna raise them up to shoulder height. One arm at a time opens, closes, we lower. Lift, open, close, lower. We've got 30 seconds of that and then we'll alternate a few times and keep it moving. It's gonna be awesome. 
All right, so your dumbbells are out of the way, but nearby. Starting off with this squat thrust. The intention here is to get out of breath, so let's start off strong. 30 seconds. Here we go, in three, two, one. You've got this jump or step up, and then really cross your body as you punch from opposite side to opposite side. Nice, my friends, remember. You can keep it low impact by stepping back. Wherever you are in your plank, keep your shoulders over your wrists. Ooh. 10 seconds. Nice job, my friends. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, nice job. How did you do? Hopefully starting out strong, raising the bar high. Let's move quickly, grabbing our dumbbells for that next exercise, a T-raise. Shoulders roll up, back, and down. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. One arm at a time opens up, closes with control, slowly lowers down. Raise your dumbbells to shoulder height. One arm at a time opens, closes, and lowers. If you need some support, if this is a little too heavy, bend your elbows more. Keep the dumbbells closer to your body. If you wanna make it more challenging, keep just a slight bend in your elbows. 10 seconds, you're doing amazing. Nice, out, in, lower, three, two, one. Ooh. All right, we're in this together, my friends. Put those dumbbells to the side. Right back to that squat thrust. We're gonna do each one of these movements two more times. Are you with me? Four, three, two, one. Plant your hands, step or hop it back. Keep it nice and low in a squat as you punch right to left. Crossing the midline here, so good for our brain. Moving quickly, raising our heart rate, so good for all of us and all of our symptoms. Keep it up, y'all. You can do this. 10 seconds. Nice, my friends, breathe. Four, three, two, one. All right, you're gonna wanna take a longer break here, but we gotta push through. Just a little 15 second breather to set ourselves up for that T-raise. Stay with me. All right, shoulders roll up, back and down. Three, two, one. You raise one arm, open, close and lower. Nice job. Beautiful, my friends. Remember, definitely keeping at least a slight bend in those elbows, being mindful of the range of motion that we're working with here. 10 seconds. Out, in, lower, down. Three, two, one. Beautiful work. Okay, we're gonna do each one of those movements one more time. You've got this. You got this. Put these weights to the side. Set yourselves up for this squat thrust. 30 seconds. Maybe the quickest round yet. Three, two, one. Nice job, my friends. When you stay low in this squat, I want you to root through your heels. Heavy heels in your squat. Nice. Engaging your core, feeling a core rotation as you twist to punch from one side to the other. Nice job, my friends. If you can speed it up just a tiny bit more, gold star for you. If you can't, also a gold star for you. Five, four, three, two, one, amazing work. Okay, we are definitely out of breath now. Let's keep it moving. One more push and then we have a longer rest. T-raise, last time. Four, four, three, two, one. Raise it up, open out, close, lower, lift, open, close, lower. Remember, you're moving at your own pace. That might be faster than me. That might be slower than me. And you might notice that this move is uncomfortable or for any reason causes you pain. So you're gonna modify. You're gonna change it into a way that feels more comfortable for you. Yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful work. Put your weights to the side. Grab a big sip of water. Round one is done. Nice job. This next two rounds, or this next second round has two fun exercises. I want you to move this chair out of your way, but keep it nearby if you need any balance help. 
This next movement is called a windmill. We're gonna do one on each side. So I want you to take a, a look at my feet. My left foot is facing forward. My right foot is heel in, toe out. So taking a look at my feet, and I'm stacking my left hand above my shoulder with that dumbbell in it. This is called a windmill. I'm gonna knock my hips out to the left as I reach my right hand down. I do not have to come all the way down to my toes. If you have the mobility in your hips and you're flexible enough to reach all the way down there, be my guest. But that is not the name of the game. The name of the game is balance and connecting with your core. Pressing your hip out to the side, keeping that weight over your shoulder, and then using your core to stand back up straight, stacking your shoulders over your hips. We're coming out of alignment here, and then using our core to stand up tall. Again, 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds for the other, and then for that third round, it's gonna be a fun little cognitive challenge to switch halfway through. Your second movement of this round is a curtsy lunge. It's one of my favorite movements. We do it a lot in YOPD, but it's on purpose. It's so great. We're gonna hold our weight at our chest. We're gonna step behind. So instead of a normal lunge where we step right behind, we step behind and over, being mindful of that chair behind us so that we don't trip ourselves. We come down into a curtsy lunge, come up to the top and add a knee drive. Switch side curtsy lunge come to the top knee drive that's right so this is your second movement we're alternating between that windmill and this curtsy lunge so take another sip of water wipe off the sweat shake off any negativity that might still be hanging on to you and let's get ready for a windmill starting with the weight in our left hand left foot plants right foot turns out we've got 30 seconds on one side all right, my friends, three, two, one. Reaching down and standing up. This one is all about control, do not rush. Take a minute to figure out how this feels and stand up tall at the top. Head, heart, hips in one strong line at the top. So maybe even feeling a nice stretch in your inner thigh as you do this. Keeping that belly button hugged in and up towards your spine starting to feel fatigue in your shoulder, or at least I am. Keep moving, my friends. Three, two, one. Stand up nice and slowly. Bring that weight down to your chest. Ooh, roll it out. We're doing amazing. All right, curtsy lunge to a knee lift, alternating legs. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Stepping back. When you come to the top, lift your knee. I might need my DJ to skip this song. Kind of bringing my vibe down. I need a little, something a little, something a little more energetic. Stepping back, stepping up, raise your knee and lower. Nice job, my friends. So crossing the midline, it's so good for your brain. So really, instead of stepping just back, stepping over. Nice job. Stay with me here. Five, four, three, two, one. You did it. Those are the two movements that we have in round two. Let's keep it going. This time windmill with the right arm lifted, right toes forward, left toes out. Take a big breath. Exhale, engage your core. Three, two, one. Here we go. Reaching that left arm towards the ground, maybe all the way to our toes, maybe not. Standing up at the top, head, heart, hips in a long line. Nice job, my friends. So you might just be coming down a bit and then standing up tall at the top. You might be coming down a little bit farther, but everybody's standing up tall at the top. Ooh, burning out this core movement, this balance movement for four, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, curtsy lunges to the knee drive. Really testing our balance here, so stay focused, keep breathing, plant your feet, engage your core. And let's get to work in three, two, one. Crossing the midline, coming up to the center and raising your knee to 90. Crossing your midline. When you come up to the center, maybe you just come up to a kickstand. Or maybe you bring that knee all the way up to 90, finding what works for you. Nice job, my friends. Are you breathing? I hope so. Whoo! Nice job. Stay with me here. We're close. Eight seconds. Four, three, two, one, nice job. Okay, each one of these movements one more time. So for this last windmill, 15 seconds on the left hand, and then we make a quick switch in the middle, using our brain here. Okay, left toes face forward, right toes face out. Three, two, one, here we go. 
stacking your dumbbell over your shoulder the entire time, connecting with your abs and standing up tall at the top. Ooh, burning out this left side. We're about to switch. Stay with me. All right, at the top, switch hands. You got this, switch your feet and then get right back to work. Right toes facing forward. Right arm extended above with our dumbbell. Nice work. Four, three, two, one. Okay, 30 second push with the curtsy lunges and then we rest. You are always welcome to pause this video and take a breather or you can dig a little deeper. Keep moving with me. Weight is at your chest. Shoulders roll up, back and down. Three, two, one. Crossing the midline with a curtsy lunge, driving your knee up at the top. Remember, your knee might come to 90 degrees. It might come to a kickstand or anywhere in between. Whoo, finding this level of intensity that works for you. Supports your workout. Nice, my friends. Stay with me till the end, pushing to the end of round two, four, three, two, one, you did it. Nice job, water break. Let's all take a quick sip of water. I'm drinking some bubbly water today. All right, while you're taking a breather, you might keep your feet moving, kind of walk back and forth. I'm gonna show you the two moves for round three. So, for this next one, we're gonna mosey on down to the ground and we are not going to need our weights. So put the weights out of sight, out of mind, at least for now. We're gonna come on down to the ground into a tabletop position. So let's start with our wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. From there, we're gonna walk forward and lengthen our tabletop. But notice that my shoulders still are over my wrists. So in this position, my shoulders are not over my wrists. Shoulders over wrists, shoulders over wrists, shoulders over wrists, there I am. I'm making this a big deal, so I think you'll be able to feel the difference when your weight is in your knees instead of putting that pressure on your shoulders. So I want you to be aware of that because this move is called a quad power plank. We're gonna shift our weight back, hips onto our heels, and then coming forward, shoulders over wrists at the top, crossing our arms, tapping opposite shoulder with opposite hand. Lean back, come forward, tap, tap. We're doing this for 30 seconds. This is a big core movement, but also shoulder movement, also quad movement, and um, also a little bit of cardio, because we're gonna be moving quick. So we're gonna do 30 seconds of that. And then we're gonna come into a side plank. So uh, this is a side plank variation. You might start by bringing your knees to the ground and then bringing one foot out, other hand to the earth. All right, so from here, we're gonna bring our hand to our hip and do 30 seconds of a leg lift. You could be gazing down at your finger, you could be gazing forward or up, but what I want to avoid is letting our head hang heavy like this. So long neck, but gazing down or wherever is most comfortable. 30 seconds, you might keep your foot elevated the whole time, or you might come down to the ground, lift, down, lift. So just like before, 30 seconds on one side, then the other, and then for the last round, in the middle at the 15 second mark, we have a challenge to switch sides. Okay, that was a lot. We're starting with the quad push up so finish your water break. Meet me on the ground in your tabletop. From tabletop position, you lengthen your hands a little farther apart, shift your weight forward, and then get ready for these quad power planks. All right, engage your core, lengthen your neck. Let's get ready to work for 30 seconds in four, three, two, one. Hips hinge back. Come forward with a purpose, tap right. Tap left, beautiful job my friends, as always. You might move faster or slower than me. The name of the game here is to stop when your shoulders are over your wrists. Ooh, throwing our balance off at the top by tapping opposite shoulders with opposite hands. We're close here my friends, keep working. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Walk your hands in, stand up on your knees, all right. For this next one, left hand on the earth, right leg extends, and my left knee is under my hip. Are you with me? Four, three, two, one. So coming into this leg lift, working outside of our thigh, inside of our thigh, and remember keeping our neck long, so if your ear has melted down towards your shoulder, lift up that neck, maybe gaze towards your fingers. 
Keep your right foot flexed. Y'all got this. Ooh. Nice. If you're feeling the burn, I'm with you. I am with you. Work through the burn, work through the shake. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, right foot comes to the ground. We come right back to tabletop. All right, my friends, remember I told you this format is hard. 15 second break, we shouldn't even call that a break. That is just a little breather. All right, right back to our quad power planks. Three, two, one, hinge back. Hinge forward, one arm at a time, taps your opposite shoulder. Beautiful. Hinge back, hinge forward, tap, tap. Hinge back, hinge forward, tap, tap. Nice job. Back, up, tap, long neck the whole time. 10 seconds here, my friends. Make sure you're coming all the way forward, stacking shoulders over wrists. Three, two, one. Nice job, come onto your knees. This time our right hand finds the floor, left leg extends out. Coming into those leg lifts, long neck. Here we go, three, two, one. Remember, you can do a pulse where you have your leg lifted the whole time or you might bring it on the ground and lift. Bring it down and lift. Finding the level of intensity that you can maintain for 30 seconds. Nice job. Bring your awareness to your right hand. Five fingertips, five knuckles pressing down into the earth. Ooh, can you raise that hip, those feet one inch higher? Three, two, one. Nice, okay my friend. Each one of these movements one more time. 30 seconds of a power plank. Set yourself up for success. If you wanna make it more challenging, step your knees farther away. All right, 30 seconds, coming in hot. Three, two, one. Press them back, forward, shoulder tap. Ooh, nice job, my friends. Don't forget about your long neck. Breathing all the way till the end. Nice job, my friends. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right. Side plank, 15 seconds, starting with the left hand down. And then right in the middle, we're going to switch to the right. You've got this. Left hand down. Right leg extended, 15 seconds on each side. Three, two, one. So finding a leg pulse, and remember long neck, maybe gazing down at your fingers. Ooh, keep your right foot flexed. You're doing amazing. Okay, good, we're switching sides halfway. Don't forget. Three, two, one. Go ahead, switch sides, move quick, and then get right back to work. This time the left leg is lifting up for a pulse. You all finish strong. This is it. Three, two, one. Whoo! Take a minute on your knees. Y'all, you did so well. That was round three. We knocked it out of the park. Okay, get up nice and easy. Move over towards your sparkling water or your flat water, whatever you're drinking. Rehydrate. And I'm gonna show you this next move. I'm really excited for round four. Okay. Feet are wide, we're gonna go step, 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 drive. Let me get into the rhythm. So as you just saw, you're gonna need to take a second to get into the rhythm, and then when you get it, feel free to add a little speed. Step, step, drive that knee. Step, step, drive that knee. Step, step, drive. Check out my arms. It's more than just looking cool, although I know I look very sporty and cool. I'm kidding. It's helping me with balance. Your arms are doing a lot here. Using opposite arm, opposite leg. Opposite arm, opposite leg. 30 seconds, cardio movement. We're gonna be out of breath and it'll be great. Oh my goodness, okay. After a short 15 second breather, I'm calling this one serve the platter plus a funky bicep curl. So palms are up, my elbows are at 90 degrees. I'm gonna lift my arms out, extending, bringing them back, funky bicep curl. Extend come in funky bicep curl so notice how one arm's moving up one arm's moving down and the cognitive challenge for me well all of this is a cognitive challenge but part of it is remembering which direction i'm moving on each rep if that is a lot for you 
Don't make the bicep curl funky. Go out and then let both of your arms move in unison. So we're starting off with that cardio movement. We do not need our weights. So finish your water break. Just like I said before, shake off any negativity that may still be holding on to you because we're doing great, y'all. Round four. All right, remember we're gonna do step, step, drive. Step, step, drive, 30 seconds. In four, three, two, here we go. Step, step, drive. So take a moment, figure out the rhythm, kind of confusing, and then get into it. Stay low. Pick your feet up. Ooh, feet come high. Feet come high, nice. Good job, my friends. Don't forget about your arms, helping you out with balance. Opposite arm, opposite leg. 10 seconds. Keep moving. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, I told you that one was fun. Okay, grab your dumbbells. We're getting ready to serve the platter. Palms face up. Shoulders roll up, back and down. Engage your core. Four, three, two, one. You extend. Come in and do that funky bicep curl. I don't know a better way to call it. Come out. In six sides. Hello, brain. Hello, cognition. Staying focused here. Bring it out. Bring it in. Uh, palm stay facing up the whole time. Stick with me, friends. We are close. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Those are our two moves for round four. So ditch the weights. We're bringing it right back into that fun cardio movement. Remember, staying low, picking your feet up high. Okay, three, two, one. Step, step, drop. Step, step, drop. Step, step, drop. Nice. Remember, if you want to go faster or if you want to go slower, this is your workout. I'm over here doing my best. So as long as you're out there doing your best, A plus in my book. I hope you're feeling as sporty as I am. Keep it up. You look great. I'm sure of it. Four, three, two, one. One, nice job. Okay, let's move quick. Let's keep the momentum going. Find your dumbbells. Serve the platter, plus a funky bicep curl. Let's take a minute to roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Reconnect with your core. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Bring it out. In. Bicep curl, meet at the center. Out. In. Bicep curl. Meet at the center. Nice job, my friends. Notice how your shoulder blades are hugging behind your heart as you reach out and then reach back in. Nice. Woo! You're doing amazing. Nice, friends. Stay with me here till the very end. We got four, three, two, one. Nice work. Each one of those movements one more time. We've got this. We know this. We love it. Keep it moving. All right, 30 seconds. Quick feet, stay low. Four, three, two, one. Step, step, drive. Step, step, drive. Use your upper body. Almost an exaggerated movement with your upper body. Nice, y'all. All right, if you can add any speed, now's the time. Speed it up. Yes. You got it, you got it. Move quick till the end. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay. Keep it moving. Move towards these dumbbells. One more push. Serve the platter, funky dumbbell, and then we rest. All right. Four, three, two, one. Let's get to work. Out. Meet at the center, bicep curl. Here we are. Okay, so my friends, I want you to really check in with your core connection here. Connecting with your abs. Engage in your core. Nice job, y'all. Out. In. Up. Down. We're close. Four. Three. Two. One, all right, you did it. That was the circuit, we knocked it out of the park. Okay, 
put your weights to the side. Take a breather. Take a big sip of water. Okay, my friends, after you have rehydrated and taken a little breather after that circuit, I want you to come and join me. We're gonna close this out with a really fun pattern. We're going for cardio and cognition here. So the idea is that after you do this, you're gonna be out of breath, you're gonna be sweaty, and also your brain's gonna be fired up. So that's my intention for you. I'm using a ball. You could use a dish towel rolled up. You could use some socks rolled up, a small pillow. You could use nothing. You could get really creative. I will let you decide. So I'm gonna show you the first, or what I'll do is I'll show you all the moves and then we're gonna add it to music. And I'm just gonna trust that you'll jump right in with me. Either you get it, either you don't. As long as you're trying, that's all we're asking for. Okay, so give it your best shot and that's an A+. We're gonna start with the ball. We're gonna lean and reach. Notice this long line from the ball down to my foot, four times on each side. Three, two, switch sides. Four, full range of motion. Three, two, one. Meet at the center and we're doing knee lifts. Four, under each leg. Three, Notice how I'm bringing my knee up instead of leaning over to bring the ball down. So doing four under each leg, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then we squat down, reach, squat down, reach. If you want to spice it up, you might even throw your ball or your tube socks at the top for squat and reaches. And then we end with something that I love. It's cool. I, I call it karaoke. Again, I have these funky names for things. I don't know what you call it, but we're going to step out wide. We're going to cross the midline and cross our hands behind our back. Switch the hand that the ball is in. Step out wide and lift. Out. Cross. Out. Lift. We're going to go slow. We're going to give ourselves a chance to really get in this rhythm. And then we're going to speed it up when the chorus comes. And then we're going to put it all together. And it's going to be fun. And again, either you get it or you don't. That's not even the point. All right. So let's do this. Let's roll our shoulders up, back, and down. Shake out our legs, bring our feet hip width apart. Slight bend in our knees, connecting with your core. And my DJ is gonna put our song on, and we're gonna get started with four leans on each side. All right, my friends. In four, three, two, four times. Here we go. Out, in, out, in. Step out, big, exaggerated motions. Switch sides. Four, three, full range of motion. Two, knee lifts eight times. Eight, Four, three, slow squat. Four times. You squat, reach, squat, reach. Two more. Slow karaoke. Step, walk, cross, out, up. Walk, cross, out, up. Keep it slow. Fast. Cross, out, in. Last time, slow. Let's speed it up, y'all. Yes. Whew. Back to the lean. Four on each side. In four, three, two, one. Four, three, two. Switch sides. Let's keep going. Four lean on each side. Four, three, two. Switch sides. Three. Knee marches eight times. Four, three, two, again, eight knee lifts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, slow squat and reach. You squat, reach, squat, reach. Two more. Slow karaoke. Step out wide. Step, cross, step, up, step, out, step. Keep it slow. Now speed it up. Yes. Ooh, step, cross, step, step, cross. One more time. From the top, four leans. You got it. Four, three, two, one. Switch side. Four, three, eight marches. Pass that ball under your knees. Seven, six, five, four, three. 
two slow squats. Four, three, two, slow karaoke. Out, cross, out, up, out, cross, speed it up. This is the end. Out, cross, out, out. Yes. All right, this is it. Stay with me. Eight. Five, four, three, two, last one. Woo! You did it. Give yourselves a round of applause. Nice job, my friends. Nice job, my friends. Okay. I hope you're out of breath like I am. Maybe take a minute. Keep your feet moving. Find your breath and feel to put this ball or your rolled up socks whatever you're using out of, out of the way. Okay, nice job, my friends. This next part of class is super important. We're gonna keep moving, not to extend the workout, but to safely bring our heart rates down, to safely find our breath so that we can move out into our day. All right, so let's start with our feet hip-width apart. Slight bend in your knees. Inhale, reach out and up. And exhale, reach out and down. Inhale, reach out and up. And exhale, reach out and down. We might have some cool down music coming in here in a minute. Maybe starting to roll your shoulders up, back and down, noticing a stretch in your chest, in your upper back. Beautiful, and then I want you to come by this chair that we have nearby or maybe to the wall that you have nearby. Your hand could be on either. We're gonna come into a crescent lunge. So I'm using my chair for balance, left foot forward, right foot is back. And I'm bending my front knee stretching my front right hip crease. Just taking a moment to notice how this feels. Maybe leaning forward, maybe leaning back. Driving my back heel towards the floor. Nice job, my friends. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, bend your back knee, start to step it forward, and we're gonna switch sides. Okay. This time our right foot is forward, front knee over front ankle, driving the back heel back. Keeping your hips square towards the front of our room. So if you've noticed, you've opened up to the side. Can you square your hips to face forward, hugging your right hip crease back? Nice job, my friends. Take one more inhale. Exhale, bend the back knee, step it up. We did it. Okay, we're gonna sit down in that chair. We're gonna bring our feet out wide, heels in, toes out, hands are on your thighs, but not on your knees, they're on your thighs. We're just gonna gently start to make circles with our chest. Good job, my friends. Beautiful, next time you're leaned over to the left, hang out here, you might even bring your forearm to your forearm, and just reaching your right arm up and over. Long side body stretch, take a big inhale. Stay for your exhale. One more inhale. On your exhale, sit up nice and tall. We're switching sides. Left forearm to our left side. Right arm reaches up and over. Taking a big inhale. Stay for your exhale. Take one big inhale. Stay for your exhale. Beautiful, stand up tall. And then heel, toe, heel, toe, your feet in, hip width apart. We're gonna step our right foot forward, flex your toes, sit up tall, and then hinge at the hips. Different than leaning forward, I'm hinging, guiding with my chest, leading with my chest. I want you to feel a deep stretch in the back of your right thigh, your hamstring. Glute, either maybe the small lower back. And it could feel good in the stretch to gently sway, rock side to side. And then slowly sit up, bring your feet together, and switch sides. Other foot steps out, flex your toe, sit up tall, and hinge forward from the hips. Keep your left foot flexed. Might feel good to rock side to side. Nice job, my friends. Slowly stand up. Bring your feet together, and we're gonna end uh, with one more stretch, a chest opener. So you're gonna reach your hands behind you, holding on to the um, edge of your chair, 
If you want to even deepen the stretch, you might reach back behind towards the small of your back and hold on to your elbows like so. So I will let you decide either holding on to your elbows or holding on to the edge of your chair. On an inhale, raise your gaze. Exhale, melt your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, raise your gaze. Exhale, melt your ears. I'm sorry, your shoulders. Last time, inhale, raise your gaze, open your chest. Exhale, let your shoulders melt away from your ears. Beautiful, sit up tall. Let's close it out with two last breaths together. Inhale, reach your hands out and up. Exhale, reach out and down. One more breath together. Inhale, reach out and up. At the top of this breath, bring your hands together. Exhale them down to your heart. Give yourselves a round of applause. I am so proud of you, and I am so grateful for you for spending some time with us here at PFP. I hope you come back and see us. If you enjoyed this workout, maybe give this video a like. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And let us know how this felt in the comments. If you have any thoughts or feedback, let us know. And just know that I'm so grateful for you joining, and I hope you stay hydrated and have an awesome day.